Hello everybody, I hope you are having a fabulous day. Today um, I'm building a music studio. It's something I've kind of wanted to build for a while. Um, I'm a big music person myself and like honestly I wish The Sims had like so many more instruments but you know happy with what we got. Like honestly I like wish they had like drums or something like that but anyway yeah so I decided to build a little music studio that has like a little like lounge area where like parents can sit and then like the back area has like practice rooms and everything where there's a whole bunch of different instruments well only as many instruments as Sims comes with but you know and then it also has like this area where like they sell the instruments and things like that so it's, it's pretty cool so check it out so Okay, before I get into the video, really, or anything else, um, I have been gone for about three weeks, maybe four now. I kind of lost track. And I have a good reason for this. Um, guess who got laryngitis for two weeks? Yeah. And so it's not like I had, like, a cold and, like, could still talk or, like, with sinus stuff or the flu or something. No. is laryngitis. I literally could not talk. And I don't know what it, I don't know what triggered it. It was just, it came out of the blue and it was awful. Like I'm a pretty introverted person and I consider myself to be really quiet. I talk like to myself. Like I didn't realize how much I actually talked to myself or talked at all until I literally couldn't because it was like really bad, is a bad, really bad case of laryngitis. And the awful thing is there's really nothing you can do about it besides like drink hot tea and eat healthy foods and like cough drops, but that's about it. I can't really do anything because it's not like there's sinus stuff or drainage or anything like that. It's just your, my vocal cords stopped working. I don't know what happened. I went to choir on Wednesday because I have choir on Wednesdays. And like Thursday morning, I woke up and I couldn't, I could like sort of talk, but not really. And then Friday, it got even worse. And Saturday, I literally couldn't talk. And Sunday, it was even worse. And it, it kept progressively getting worse over the days. And I'm like, what is going on? And like, it took me like two days to realize, to figure out what it was. Cause I've never had laryngitis, which is honestly kind of surprising considering like, not that I talk a lot, granted, but like because of how much I sing, I've never had laryngitis. It's never been an issue for me. And it was just like, I didn't know how to deal with it. I was like, what? And it just, it kept, it lasted for about two weeks almost. And then what happened was, well, I'm a nerd. I go to anime conventions. I had an anime convention that I was going to go to. My friends were in town and it's like, okay, so that was like four days of not existing. And then immediately after that, I'm a uh, dog sitting for a sort of neighbor-ish, but um, her dog is an amazing dog, but he needs like constant care. He's not one you want to leave alone for a long period of time. And I just didn't feel comfortable like coming over here and trying to record and figure things out. And it, it might sound like an excuse to some people, but like this dog is, he's a miniature poodle. He's like 15 plus. He's half blind, deaf. He's struggling, man. <laughs> Hardcore struggling. Like you can't, he can't jump anymore. He can't go up and down the stairs. Like you have to carry him a lot. And it's just one of those, you don't really want to leave him alone for really any period of time. And I just didn't want to because like, she's a really nice lady and I'm like, she, is, she was my voice teacher and I love her. And I, I was like, I'm going to do her dog a service and like be there for it. I like great dog. But so I'll, that was like a solid week. And then it was like, okay, now I have time. And it was just like. Wait, how long has it been? Three weeks? And it just, it literally flew by. And like, I kind of half forgot about it because like, I was so sick. I couldn't do anything. And it was awful. And while I was sick, I didn't even like, I couldn't even like work on things. I couldn't even do like time lapsy things because I just get so tired. And a lot of, I couldn't, I, okay, I did play some games, but I ended up playing, like, nostalgic games, like Zoo Tycoon. I played a lot of Zoo Tycoon 1, and it just to let you know, it has inspired me. That's going to be, like, my next Let's Play series, or, like, I want to go through, like, a couple of the, like, um, not tutorials, but the, um, the, the challenges. I forget what they're called, but I want to do those, do a couple of those, so look out for those, but before I do that, I'm going to finish up, like, a couple Let's Plays. 
So, yeah. Oh, speaking of Let's Plays, I don't... Okay, so I have a Let's Play from Get to Work. I don't know what happened, but it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So, that was a fun thing to find out earlier today. I was like, oh, lovely. This is, this is just the, the icing on the cake. Great. Beautiful. Good job, me. Good job. I don't know if I saved it over with something. Honestly, okay, I'm going to be honest. I really, really do not like the way Sims 4 saves stuff. It, like, auto saves, and I'm like, stop it! I am one of those, like, micro-organizers who, like, um, f file names are, like, everything's, like, half-abbreviated and has numbers, and it's, it's, it's a system. It's a system that works for me, and it's how I keep track of everything, and I don't like stuff that's, like, auto-save, blah, 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 and I'm like, what are you from? When are you from? Hold up! And it just confuses me, and I don't know what happened if I accidentally said, uh, I saved over with something else. I don't really know how, if it was a glitch or what, but it's gone. So, but, but that does not mean I am going to quit on this quest to complete all the get to work, um, what are they called? Careers. Careers is the word I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to actually do a live stream. Um, yeah. Uh, I've thought about doing, like, live stream stuff, but I've never really had anything that I felt like I could sit down and do long enough. Like, maybe Planet Coaster stuff, but, uh, like, I'm still trying to figure out, like, how to work all my games that I haven't played in, like, three weeks. <laughs> so, I'm, like, be on the lookout for that, because I am going to do that. And then I'm go yeah. I mean, I'm going to do it on YouTube, because I personally don't have a Twitch account, and... Like, I under, like, Twitch is a great live streaming place, but I would prefer to keep all my stuff on YouTube just in one central place. It, it's easier for my brain. Just, it just is. Just, yeah. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. If I have zero views, whoop de doo If I have more than that, yeah, people. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, another thing. I have uh, um, thought about... I think I'm going to start doing, like, obviously I upload Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. I think I'm going to definitely uh, definitely keep doing Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. But I want to, because sometimes I get in the moods where I want to do more than three videos. And I'm, like, ahead of my schedule. I don't have anything else to do. I'm, like, I could do more. And I think I want to do that. I think I want to start trying. My goal is, like, to do five videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But... I will, once again, be honest, I'm not sure how realistic that is because I'm a busy person and I go through busy stages where I have a lot going on at once and I can't always control that. And so I want to say, oh, I'm definitely going to commit to five videos every week. And that might be great for like a month and then like for three weeks it might not work out. And then for another like three it will. I just, I can't 100% say I'm going to do it because I don't want to commit to something and have no way of actually completing it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to still do my Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday stuff. But like I might start m post something on Tuesday or Thursday, maybe an occasional Saturday. I'm not really a big Saturday or Sunday poster, but maybe, maybe if I get on a real high, I'll have like seven days, but don't, don't get your hopes up for that. Please don't, <laughs> please. So that's like my big news as far as like what I want to start doing, because I just, I feel like, uh, well, okay, I feel like my Let's Plays are kind of going a little slowly and partially that's because of how I kind of played them and I don't want like a Let's Play to take an entire year to work through unless like that's the type of Let's Play it is. Like if I ever did a City Skylines or a Planet Coaster, sure, those are more building games, but I don't want my Sims ones to like last forever. And I'm like, okay, it is now March and... I feel, I feel like I need to pick it up more. I feel like I'm slacking. Even though I know I'm not, I feel like I am. So, so that's what I am going to try to do. Um, yeah. So, I hope you guys kind of like that layout a little bit better. Uh, okay. So, I think, let's see. Sick. Um, gone. Uh, schedule. I think that's all I had to really update you guys on in my life at the moment. Uh, yes. 
Question mark? We'll see. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it anything in the comments below. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so I guess I should try to get back to the video. So, because uh, this has been great commentary so far, halfway through the video. Woo -hoo. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, and the nice thing is this is a shorter build. I was actually surprised at how quickly I did it, considering I haven't built anything for quite a while. But, um... I was able to not have to like speed it up to like eight times speed. I could slow it down a little bit, so that's nice. Oh, okay, so you see those microphones? Um, in The Sims 4, you now have the singing ability thing. I don't, I've never done it. And I guess, I guess, okay, I could have Googled it. I could have looked it up, but I didn't because I'm a moron and I was like, no pre-planning. I'm like, this looks like a thing that goes in the music rooms. Ha ha. So, uh, I know that they're comedy mics, but I don't know if you can sing into them or what, or if there are other mics, don't know. But I was like, okay, they kind of look music, they, they look music, they're microphones. And I was like, okay, so I don't know if they are actually useful as like sing singing tools to like learn a skill or anything, but I put them there. I like them. They're cool looking. So yeah. And so this is the really cool thing about this build is you could definitely run it like however you wanted. You could definitely have it like as a useless, um, like you could run it as a store, which would be cool. And I might do that in my free time or you could run it. Ooh, maybe that'd be a cool idea for let's play. Okay. No more let's play build. Pl let's play plannings. Nope, nope, nope. We got to finish the ones we're doing. <laughs> this is my problem. About halfway through, I get like, oh, this is what I want to do now. Hmm, Sarah can't do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, but you could definitely run it as a store. You could definitely run it as like some like, you know, like the library. It has uses, but it's not like super useful. You could definitely run it as like that. And that would be really cool because the practice rooms are functional. Like there's doors, you can get in, you can practice all that. You could, you could even buy it and use it as like a house. You could like build a house on top of it or underneath it. There's a lot of cool things you could do with it. So, yeah. So, like, I really like that they have uh, several instruments. Like, they have the two pianos. They have they have four different violins, which is really cool. And they have lots of three guitars. They have the keyboard, the microphones, which I don't know if that counts. But, like, I'd really... if Okay, if I was to pick an instrument to really see, I think I would want drums. Because you have, like, keyboard and you have guitars. And you have a microphone. Really, you just need drums, and you could have more of that band set up. Like, okay, me personally, like, I would love to see a ton. Like, I would love to see a flute, clarinet, a cello. I would love cellos, because in Sims 3, they had the bass, and that technically was not a cello, but you could kind of fake it as a cello, even though, like, you can't because it's a bass. But, you know, in my brain, I was like, yeah, I'm playing the cello, even though I was in no way playing the cello. So, you know, <laughs> take what you can get. It's a Sims 3. But, like... Uh, drums. Drums would be really nice. And let's see, what else? Um, a, a, a cool instrument that you could definitely take with you places would be like an accordion. Because like you have the piano skill and you could just uh, make that, like honestly, it could just be another instrument or like a an action and not really um, a new skill. Uh, like there's the organ in The Sims, uh, the new vampires pack, but one, I don't have The Sims vampire pack, and two, I really didn't feel like an organ would fit into this music studio because it's more, it is a modern music studio in a sense. Um, so, like, organs normally are sold at, like, specialty stores, if that, they're, like, more built into the place. Like, you know, you have churches and stuff like that where, like, every organ is different and everything and it's just, I, yeah. And I didn't have the pack, so, and honestly, it wasn't even a thought. It was like, okay, my, my entire, like, plan when building this was to build practice rooms. And then, like, sadly, because there's not a lot of instruments, it kind of got a little redundant. And I was like, okay. So what I decided to do was I kind of had like one room that was just keyboard, one that's like violin, one that's just for guitar, one that's more for like a band type thing, and one that has the two back-to-back -back pianos. Because um, in music, sometimes you play piano duets and like having two pianos right next to each other to practice, it, like piano um, studios have that. And it's, it's really cool. And I was like, oh, I can fit this in barely, but I can. So I did. 
So, and I didn't realize, I think I was just a moron, but I didn't realize how many colors or recolors the keyboard came in. I was like, I thought it only came in black and white, like plain. And I was like, what? This like rainbow, man. I was like, this is cool. So I like did a brown one. I was like, this is sweet, man. So yeah, really cool. So, and for this one, I, tr like, I tried to match kind of because, see, in, in a lot of practice studios, not everyone, but a lot of them, they have carpet and a lot of sound dampening stuff, so you can't really hear. The goal is not to be able to hear through the walls, so you can't hear other people practicing, so you can focus on yourself. So I kind of did that, like, bubbly, or, like, that textured wall that I kind of like to think is, like, soundproofing stuff. And then I made sure I'd put carpet in the um, practice places because carpet absorbs way more sound than wood. Wood bounces it and everything. So that's why, like, there's a lot of acoustic stuff that I sort of know and sort of don't know. But, like, a lot of churches and, like, opera houses and places that are specific for, like, theater and things like that, they will have very tall ceilings and... Um, like, they will have carpet, but, and it will absorb some of the sound. Like, that's why in movie theaters, why you have carpet a lot of times on the side, on the walls, because it absorbs the sound, and that way you sh can't, there's less of it going through the walls into the previous, into the adjacent movie theater. So, you know, that's why, that's kind of a little bit of an explanation without going too deep or me actually having to Google anything to make sure I'm saying it right. Haha. <laughs> So, honestly, I really like how this build turned out. Um, about, I'd say, halfway through, I was kind of regretting my choices on the lot size because I did a 20 by 30, and I kind of wish I'd done a wider one, I guess, maybe 30 by 20 or something because it's very, it's long. And that's fine. It turned out great. I really like it, actually. But, like, I, I could have done a different, slightly different. I kind of had to rearrange how everything looked. And my only complaint really to myself is that it's very box-like, but at the same time, there's not really a lot I can do about it being box-like because in reality, most of them are box-like because it's literally a box that has little boxes inside. It doesn't have little jut out areas because most of the time these places are like it at not a strip mall, but they're at like the places like, I guess a strip mall, like they're at places that are, have stores on either side of them. So it's kind of, they have a shape that they are forced to conform to. So, you know, I got kind of a, I don't know, well, zig, it's not a zigzag. I don't really know what you want, a Tetris shape. There we go. That works. And this time I made sure to try to do um, some more, um, what's it called? Uh, ter it's not terraforming because you can't do that in Sims 4. Um, outside work, floral stuff, flower stuff, you know, pretty stuff. Try to make it more, more pretty on the outside. And I was kind of struggling trying to decide what I wanted to make the outside look like. And I went with these bricks because I did like the bricks. But, and I was kind of going off of that whole strip mall-esque vibe, except it's maybe in like an older part of town. Maybe like, not really Chicago area, but I guess for lack of a better term, Chicago area sort of downtown-ish, not the sketchy areas, but like downtown, like honestly, like, you know, in like movies, you know, where they'll have like an old ballet studio and it's like in this brick um, place with all these tall buildings around there. That's kind of what I was going for. Eh. So I like it. I do like how it turned out. So, and I managed to use taller wall heights, guys. And I didn't flip out. Granted, it was only the second wall height, but I did it. So, because there was an apartment build I did a while back that it was full heights. And in apartment builds, you cannot change the wall heights. And I was a little bit freaked out because I never, voluntarily, I don't really choose to build taller wall heights because I don't really know what to do with all the added walls. So, if you have this problem, let me know because I want to, please tell me I'm not alone. Please. I don't want to be alone in this. <laughs> so, but yeah, honestly, I really, I really do like how this turned out. I really tried to do a lot of details with, at the same time, being a multi-purpose space. That's really, it's honestly hard to do that, like successfully, either in the Sims or in the real world to have like this space where it has to be multi-purpose, like a multi-purpose room, ha ha ha, you know, like. Yeah, and I I think it turned out pretty good. So, yeah, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> so, yeah, I think, yeah, we still got a little bit to go. But, yeah, I'm just adding more flowers, more flowers, more flowers. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else really. Um, I don't think I have anything 
upcoming that should disagree. Well, no, scratch that. I am going out of town next week. Um, <laughs> it's one of those things my mother says. It's one of those things you do in when you're um, a young adult. Um, you go, your friends, you just kind of decide to do things spontaneously. And I'm not necessarily a spontaneous person. But when my friends came for um, the convention that's in my town, um, my one of my friends was like, hey, want to come visit me in like two weeks? And I was like, sure. Yeah, I would do that. And like, my thing is, I, I'm not a big driving fan. Like, I like being the passenger. I'm the person that can keep the driver awake for like the nine hour drive it takes to get to Denver from Kansas City. I'm the person that can sit there and surprisingly talk for nine hours because when I, when I in the car, I cannot read and I can't really use electronics. So I'm kind of stuck with two options. I can look out the window or I can talk. So yeah, so I'm really good at keeping drivers awake. But like when I drive myself, I just, it's so boring. And I'll start doing like math in my head. And like when it starts to the point where I'm doing math in my head, like I will calculate like how fast I'm going, what's been my average miles per hour over the past blah, blah, blah. And like how many miles will I have to, how many hours will it take to reach the destination if I go this speed and then this speed and then this speed. It's just really bad. So it's just best. I'm, and I, I just don't like driving. It's not my thing. It's very boring to me. And I would much rather take public transportation. Problem with Kansas is there's not necessarily a lot of trans public transportation that's uh, cheap. But my friend actually lives near enough to a train, a train station. She's like, yeah, we could just pick up the train. I was like, yeah. And train tickets, like in my brain, I'm, I was never really a big train kid growing up. Like I like trains, but I'd never ridden them. And I didn't realize how cheap train tickets could be. It was like, to go to St. Louis, it's like 30 bucks. And I was like, what? That's how much I would spend in gas one way. And I was like, well, granted, that's one way. But I was like, what? Yes. So anyway, I will be out of town, but I will definitely be posting videos still next week. So I'll be gone from like Wednesday to Monday. But not that you guys will necessarily know because, well, I'll probably mention it in my videos, but um, yeah, it's pretty much it because otherwise, like, not going out of town. There's a lot of family stuff. My family's big celebrators, like Easter, things like that. That's pretty much the only big thing that's coming up. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that means good news because that means I will have support. Well, okay, no, I might have a new job coming up, but we'll see how that works out. It may or may not work out, you know, how those things are. And so, okay, so here we have the screenshots. Um, Honestly, these little, all these little rooms were a pain, <laughs> such a pain to take pictures of. The only way you can really take pictures of these without getting super nauseous is to take them from the um, camera that you, like live mode camera, the, the camera you hit tab with. So yeah. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos definitely every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There will be more coming out. Um, look for my live stream. Uh, if you want to follow me, there's social media links down below. See you next time. Bye.